It's America's first Noel after eight years of tinsel-free happy holidays humbuggery. And you better believe the card watchers over at Fox News, well, they noticed. Delivering on one of his campaign promises, the first family uh, just released their Christmas card where they do, in fact, wish everybody a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. A little different than uh, the, the President Obama's Christmas card from last year where he wished everybody a more politically correct Happy Holidays. Yeah. That Obama Christmas card was one of the most offensive cards I've ever not gotten. <laughs> but now Christmas is center stage again. Yesterday, Trump gave a speech on tax reform. Now this, this is the kind of November policy speech where Obama wouldn't have mentioned Christmas once. <laughs> not my president. Together, we will give the American people a big, beautiful Christmas present. I said, we're gonna have Christmas again. You don't see Merry Christmas anymore. With Trump as your president, we are going to be celebrating Merry Christmas again. Yes, people forget that the full name of the holiday is Merry Christmas. <laughs> Have you seen the White House this year? Christ is everywhere. A nativity scene returned to the White House for the first time since 2016. <laughs> you can tell the wise men are more streetwise and less bookwise. With Trump at the helm, Christmas somehow feels, I don't know, whiter. We won. Christmas is back in America where it started, but we can't afford to gloat. As with everything else great about our country, foreign nations are jealous and will do whatever they can to ruin Christmas. Threats abound. We have to stay vigilant. And no one is more vigilant when it comes to Christmas than the opposition's jingle boots on the ground, Aaron Jackson and Josh Sharp. <laughs> Merry Christmas, fellas. Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas, Jordan. God, it feels good to say that again. Oh, so good. Uh, care for some of this chocolate Santa? No, Jordan, no! <laughs> that could be a Trojan Santa from Germany where the bad Nazis are from. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Tro Trojan Santa, what do you mean? Well, uh, as you know, we are on the forefront of global gay news. It comes to us through the wind, Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, according to The Wind and also Breitbart, German supermarket chain Penny has introduced a new line of rainbow gay chocolate Santas just in time to ruin Christmas. Jordan, Germany is trying to replace our God-loving, red-blooded American Santa. You can't do that to Santa. He's one of the main characters in the Bible. <laughs> I, remember the Gospels? Matthew, Mark, Luke, and Santa. Yeah. And furthermore, you can't tell the world that Santa is gay. Yeah, that's a secret. Yeah. <laughs> what? What? Yeah, Jordan, I heard that Santa is gay from one of my exes. Oh, wait, w which one? Oh, the uh, elf who made toys. Oh, my God. <laughs> he was so hot, but I hated how he treated you. Thank you so much. <laughs> um, anyways, this... Uh... <laughs> Globalist conspiracy clicked when we heard these rainbow gay chocolate Santas were meant to promote diversity, tolerance, and love. Which everybody knows are liberal dog whistles for political correctness. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, gross. So, where's this next attack on Christmas coming from? I'll give you three guesses, Jordan. China, China, or China. Right. I gotta go with it. Wrong, Jordan. It's China. Okay. Real American Christmas tree farmers are being put out of business by fake Chinese tree farmers growing fake plastic trees. <laughs> Fake Plastic Tree is my third favorite Coldplay song. Ooh. <laughs> Mine's Creep. Creep, that's now, a good one, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, oh, we love it. Now, Jordan, in a way, I blame myself for this Chinese incursion. First, they came for our Louis Vuitton bags, and I said nothing. In fact, I bought seven. And now, <laughs> this? So, how do we stop them? Well, simple, Jordan. America first. Don't even go to a tree farm. Who knows where those seeds came from? Yeah, go right to your own American backyard and rip that tree out of the ground with your own American hands. Then take a slice out of that <laughs> and count the rings in the trunk. If it's a Chinese number, throw it away. <laughs> what's, uh, what's, what's a Chinese number? I don't know, Jordan, six, 11? You can't be too careful. Yeah. China and numbers, what a nightmare. Well, I hope you're wearing your rubber boxer briefs, Jordan, because we've saved the worst for last. Yes. The upside down Christmas tree, you can buy it for a cool grand. I mean, it's, it's everything that is wrong. And if you don't want to participate in Christmas or Hanukkah, whatever your holiday is, you don't have to. But I don't even know what an upside down Christmas tree means. I'm with Corey. This is insane. What's next? An upside down wreath? Can you even picture that? Oh, yeah. 
What, why on earth would anyone do this? This inverted pyramid is clearly a message from the Illuminati. Yeah, what stands on the top of trees? Angels. And if you turn the tree upside down, what happens? The angel falls. Who's a fallen angel? Lucifer. Lucifer. Oh, no. So, so you're saying this globalist attack on Christmas is actually from hell? Hell, China, Germany, I don't know, but it's one of those horrible places you go when you die. <laughs> and hold on to your d Jordan, because the attack on Christmas is closer than you think. Yeah, the president himself recently invited reporters to a holiday reception. And Queen Melania tweeted just the other day, preparations are underway to celebrate the holidays at the White House. Jesus Christ, so anyone could be compromised. Yes, Jordan, even our Feliz Magadad. 